Minister of State with responsibility for the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives, Senator Adrian Thomas, joined counterparts from across the Caribbean and Latin America to present and advance the plan on the framework of the 2030 Agenda of the Community of Latin America and the Caribbean States, CELAC. The meeting held earlier this week at the Otta Chong Center in Guyana sought to promote an increase in regional trade, economic development and further economic cooperation among members against the backdrop of global challenges such as the COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine. So I think this, this move here is a plus and the subject that we are dealing with is so important to the Caribbean, it's unbelievable. Um, Zero hunger, zero hunger is something that we all should aspire to. Uh, we have enough space, we have enough um, resources in order to venture into that. And I think it's a good starting point. The plan of action that I've seen and that has been drafted, I think it's a plus for the Caribbean and Latin America. Accessibility to food, accessibility not only to food in quantity, but nutritious food. Um, the whole question of health, which means wealth. And I think um, the president ex expounded on that so well that it convinced me that we are on the right, we, we are on the right path, and we'll surely get there. But I, th I think it's it's crucial to to tie nutrition with food. So the question of food and nutrition security is crucial, and most all is tied. As part of the agenda, regional heads reviewed the current state of agriculture in the Silac region, including challenges and opportunities facing farmers and agribusinesses. They also explored ways in which member states can cooperate to achieve greater food security and sustainability, shared experiences and best practices in agriculture across the region, and identified areas for further collaboration. Discussions also centered on new technologies and innovations in agriculture and their potential for increasing productivity and reducing environmental impact. Ministers also considered the role of agriculture in achieving the UN Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, and other international development agendas, as well as strengthening and advancing the updating of an implementable SILAC food and nutrition security plan. Formed in 2010, SILA consists of 33 countries and is an intergovernmental mechanism for dialogue and political agreement. It was created with a commitment to advance the gradual process of regional integration, unity, and carefully balance the political, economic, social, and cultural diversity of Latin America and the Caribbean and represent, promote, and protect the interests of its member states and their citizens. Chrislina John, GBN News.